Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills for the 16th Annual Prism Awards, which honors the accurate depiction of social issues in TV and film. Let's see who walks down that yellow carpet. All right, so everyone's walking on a yellow carpet tonight. Talk about the significance of that. The yellow carpet is very significant because it represents a program that takes care of service members and their families in and outside of deployment. There's a whole deployment cycle that takes place either before they're going or when they're coming back. So this yellow carpet represents that yellow ribbon program. And we host thousands of soldiers on a, on a very regular basis and help them with their reintegration process or help them before they leave. Because if you don't know it or not, I don't know if you know, but when soldiers or service members go to war, they come back different. And we help them integrate back into society. We help them get to that new normal. We help them find their new place in life because people just aren't at the same after such a traumatic ordeal. And not only are the service members different, but the family members are also different. So this program is phenomenal, and it's mainly for reserve soldiers who go in, or service members who go and they come back and they become civilians again. And they start working in that regular job again, but they're still thinking about that deployment mentality. So we help them in that process. And that that's what the carpet's all about. Well, you know, uh, what are some of the biggest issues that we're seeing with servicemen coming back? There, well, there are a lot of them, and I know you've probably heard of uh, PTSD, uh, post-traumatic stress, where we take the disorder off, and uh, traumatic brain, brain injury and things like that. Uh, dealing with the separation from their families, dealing with a, a, a lifestyle when you're deployed of going a thousand miles an hour, and coming back and living a lifestyle of about 10 miles an hour, it's a big difference, and it's like slamming your life on brakes and trying to figure out, who am I now, and what do I do? So integrating back into society, whether they're single, married, divorced, or whatever their demographic is, they're dealing with issues, they're dealing with something that, that they have to figure out to help them become not who they used to be, but who they should be from now on. So there are a lot of decisions to be made, and the program helps them in that. We give them counseling, we give them classes, we give them tools, resources and information to help them in that integration process. And we're going to see a lot of this going forward as the soldiers start coming home more and more from Afghanistan and Iraq and things like that. So this is not a program just for today, but this is this is going forward over the next decade and beyond. Well, we'd like to hope so. I, I can't say what legislature is going to do, but I can say while the program is here, it's making a very, very big difference. It's changing a lot of lives. lives. It's helping a lot of people. And I, for one, am grateful for being a part of it to do something like this. Fantastic. Thank you for making us aware of all this because, you know, I think so many people have been, you know, touched by what all the servicemen and women are doing overseas, but, you know, we also have to make sure that they're taken care of once they come home. Absolutely. In some way, everybody's connected to a service member. So when we help them, we help ourselves. Good Thank message. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sir.